Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the channel and welcome to another installment of 20 Outfits for 20 Date Ideas, Valentine's Day Edition. As always, all of these activities work with romantic partners, family, strangers, enemies, friends, or by yourself. And for this video, the date ideas are separated into categories. Our types of dates are daytime, out and about, food-based, nightlife, and cozy at home to meet all your Valentine's Day needs. Alright, starting off we have out and about daytime dates and first up is a date to a flower shop, which if you're not with a romantic partner already is the perfect place for a meet cute. Of course, for some fun, funky, flowery yet modern vibes, I went with this flower print mini skirt and this flower tote bag that I recently painted myself, brag. Then, to add some texture and more softness, I chose this lace top and hair scarf, both of which are also floral actually, so damn, I nailed this one. Then, add some platforms, leather jacket, and sunglasses, all in black to balance out the light femininity of the look, and now, I'm ready to make a stranger fall in love with me. Next up, we have an art gallery date, which is a bit more of a moody vibe, so I put this floral midi dress over a black turtleneck and tall black boots. I also put my hair up for that more polished, intellectual vibe, and I feel like this is something a cool teacher might wear, and that feels art gallery appropriate to me. Also, side note, I actually wore this exact outfit to my very small New Year's gathering this year, so basically, my point is, an outfit like this can work for every occasion. Next up, we are getting a little more studious for a museum date. Of course, the black skirt, white button-up, and loafers are all almost giving school uniform chic, but this pink jacket definitely makes it more fun and more specific to Valentine's Day. Truthfully, Valentine's is the only time I pull out this jacket just because a hot pink jacket isn't usually my vibe, but I think it fits perfectly here. We're definitely giving academia, but make it romantic. And as I do every time I show this jacket, I have to emphasize the embroidery. Behold, so pretty. Okay, our next date idea is a scenic drive. So of course, we had to go with this classic old-timey Hollywood glamour driving look because, I mean, what other choice was there, really? The headscarf and sunglasses are giving Olivia Rodrigo's Deja Vu video, and of course, the heart shape is a festive touch. I chose this white puff sleeve top to match that airy, light, and sophisticated vibe, but then I went with black jeans and boots on the bottom to add a more down-to-earth, free-spirited element because I'm just picturing driving with the windows down on a little adventure. The next idea is to be tourists, whether somewhere new or in your own town. This one also feels a little adventurous, so I went with jeans again and some casual white sneakers. On top, I of course pulled out my cowboy jacket, literally nothing says adventure more than cowboys. Underneath I have this red tie-dye baby tee, which kind of clashes with the jacket, but just ignore that, pretend it matches. Then to blend the white shoes into the look a little more, I went with white sunglasses and a purse, which are also both very useful things to have anyway if you're being a tourist. Our next date is a bookstore date, so we're doing academic but make it cozy by pairing the black skirt and loafers with this chunky sweater, which is of course red for Valentine's. This look is very simple, but sometimes simplicity can bring just as much to an outfit as complexity, you know? Every look doesn't have to be so many layers and details to be a cute outfit. There, I said it. Brave of me, I know. I also thought the red velvet scrunchie could be a cute touch on this look that kind of combines the academic and cozy vibes if you want to be extra cutesy. Okay, my next date idea is roller skating, and I have to say, my first thought for this was obviously 70s, but I simply didn't have the pieces to pull it off, okay? I'm sorry. Instead, we are serving some 90s realness with the cargo pants, layered tank top over long sleeves, and the scrunchie. I of course chose pink toned items for both of the tops and the scrunchie to be festive, and I do think this is pretty well suited to roller skating, but I also think this type of look, like many of these outfits, would work for a lot of different activities, so... Just take what you like from all of them. There is no one perfect outfit for any given situation. Our next look is for a thrifting date, which I feel like is a slightly unconventional date. So we went with a slightly unconventional Valentine's outfit. She's a little different. I chose this wrap dress that has a lot of different sort of red, purple, pinkish, and brownish shades in it, and then layered it under this sweater that also has the same sort of colors, which then created almost like a burgundy monochrome look which is not really my like go-to color in general, but I thought this was sort of a fun, unexpected match. It has truly never occurred to me before to pair these items together. I also love the big top, tiny skirt, tall boots combo. It's a classic, can't go wrong there. 
All right, now we are moving into the food-centric date ideas, starting with a casual brunch look. I really wanted to use this skirt and tank top together for pink and purple pastel look. We're giving soft, we're giving dreamy, we're giving pastel aesthetic blogger. To keep with that vibe, I chose this cream cardigan, but then to keep it nice and casual too, I went with white sneakers, which I don't normally pair with long skirts, but I like it in this look. I also tucked the tank top into my bralette because I wanted it to be extra cropped to create that strip of skin above the higher waisted skirt. You all know this trick already, but super easy, comfy, and stays in place. Would recommend. All right, we are bringing back that wrap dress from moments ago for a lunch date outfit because I like it and I wanted to show off the whole thing. Plus, a wrap dress is perfect for when you wanna look cute while eating a meal because it's so comfy and adjustable. This dress is also a bit long on me, so I just kind of tucked it up into its own waistband here. I don't know if this is clear, but hopefully the idea is helpful to someone. This is another very simple one, but sometimes a dress and some cute shoes is really all you need. Next up, we have a fancy dinner date, and you knew this top and this dress were going to show up in this video at some point, didn't you? They are both so romantic. I mean, the velvet, the lace, and the color of the dress, and then these sheer chiffon balloon sleeves on the top with this harlequin pattern, like chef's kiss, perfection. And I've actually had a couple of people suggest pairing them together, so I thought now was the perfect time. I would be a little worried about getting these sleeves in the food, to be honest, but I think it's worth it. Like, this is just too fabulous. Finally, we have an outfit to go out for just dessert. I feel like going out just to get dessert is a very luxurious extra thing to do. Maybe it's normal and I'm just like deprived, <laughs> I don't know, but it feels indulgent to me, so that's what I was trying to channel with this look. Of course, I had to go with the faux fur jacket and then the black mini skirt, tall boots, and black sunglasses, even though it's probably nighttime at this point, just to add some glamour. However, I also wanted the outfit to be comfy because that's the true luxury. So on top, I went with an oversized sweater in red, of course. I love Valentine colors, okay? I'm not original. Next up, we are transitioning into nightlife dates, the first of which is karaoke, slash also just like a night out dancing and stuff. I went with this animal print slip dress because what says fun night out like animal print, am I right ladies? Then to add a layer, and because this dress is kind of see-through, I added this pink baby tee underneath. On the bottom, I do have black shorts and you can definitely see them if you're looking, but it's fine. Hopefully your dresses are not see-through and you don't have to worry about that with your own look. If you're looking for a more chill look for some casual drinks, might I suggest a cute sweater tucked into black jeans with a belt and some heeled boots. Do people think sweaters are suitable for getting drinks? I am very out of touch with like the nightlife scene, I will say. So let me know if you're like, girl, I would never wear this for that situation, but I like it, I would wear it. And I still think it looks chic and cool and the black accents and heeled boots still make it nighttime appropriate. My next date idea is to see some theater, especially a drag or burlesque show. Doesn't that sound like potentially the most fun Valentine's date ever? Because, wow, I want to do this now. Anyway, for this look, we're just going full glamour with this gorgeous black baby doll dress that I just thrifted. It's giving like witchy 70s, but also sexy nightgown almost. I love it so much. And I thought it would pair very well with these little 90s kitten heels that we have actually had in my house so long, they've fully gone out and then come back into style. Like I wore these to homecoming 10 years ago and they were so outdated. And yet now I'm like, this works. <laughs> Okay, my next date idea is a concert, which is always a tricky one because of course, how you dress is dependent on the vibe of the music, but I'm just thinking general concert vibes. I wanted to layer this corset top over a graphic tee because I feel like that's a great juxtaposition I haven't tried before, and then I thought, what better tee than my Mitski merch? The letters are even red, so it matches the V-Day color scheme. Then to go with the like edgy feminine masculine combo of the tops, I went with a black mini skirt, black leather jacket, and black platform loafers, which all just feels very rocker chic. Finally, on the opposite end of the date night spectrum from nightlife, we have cozy at home date ideas. The first of which is a crafting night or day. You know, I always like to throw a crafting date in these videos, and it always involves overalls, because overalls equal crafting to me. 
This time we have it paired with this pink sweater. It's simple, it's comfy, it's cute. And then for that DIY crafty touch, my clay strawberry earrings I made myself. And as someone who does a lot of arts and crafts, I can certify that this is a totally craft appropriate outfit. You're welcome. My next at-home date idea is a game night, so I started with this colorful knit top because, I don't know, games are fun and the top is fun, and then I paired it with this cardigan for coziness and because they almost look like they go together because they're both knitted and they both have that cream color. Then on the bottom I went with these white pants because they're super comfy but look a little more stylish than sweatpants, and they also kind of match the sweater even though they're different tones of white, but whatever, you're just being comfy at home, I think it all works together. Our next date idea is cooking or baking together, and this time I'm specifically thinking making a pancake breakfast together for some reason. I'm just picturing like making little heart-shaped pancakes with your initials in them. So cute. Anyway, this flowy midi skirt and floaty pink tank top makes such a loose flowy outfit that it is so comfy, which is perfect for just waking up to make breakfast, but it's also still super romantic and even, I would say, whimsical, just like making a pancake breakfast with your lover or your friends, also deeply whimsical. Finally, my last at-home date, possibly a little cringe, but it is reading to each other. This might feel so silly, but truly it is an extremely lovely experience. I highly recommend it. If you wanna be extra sappy for Valentine's Day, you could like read poetry by candlelight, create a whole vibe, you know? Um, anyway, I chose this dress because it's very comfy and chill, but also very romantic, and then the bandana will keep my hair out of my eyes so I can read clearly. I think maybe I've actually done this outfit in a video before, so sorry if I have, but now you have a new situation to wear it in. All right, y'all, that was all 20 outfits for all 20 date ideas. Please tell me what your favorite ideas were. I personally really want to go to a drag show now. If you liked this video, you'll probably like my last 20 outfits for 20 date ideas winter edition video. I will link it in the corner. And if you want to support me and my channel, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Plus, I heard if you like, comment, and subscribe, your crush will give you a little valentine. Just saying.